hello friends and welcome to my channel in this tutorial I will show you how to make this poppy flower shawl I use some uh, hand dyed yarn in uh, three colors I already finished the shawl so I will show you the beginning only with the leftover yarn that I had and I use almost uh, one skein of each uh, color and uh, the crochet hook size is size G or a 4 millimeter crochet hook we will start with a magic ring and then chain 1 and make 7 single crochet inside the ring we will work first the body of the, the trunk of the shawl and then we will do a border and uh, this shawl has an uh, asymmetric shape so we will increase only on one side to get to this uh, this shape so now let's just make the seven single crochet inside the ring you can also start with four chain stitches and then join the ends to make a small circle and work the single crochet inside uh, the circle now I'm pulling the yarn just to close the small circle and we will start with row 1 which will be uh, in single crochet as well and on this row so chain 1 and turn we will increase with 2 stitches you can do this increases at one end or I will just do for the beginning 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then I will continue with one single crochet into each stitch except the last one and in the last stitch I will do another single um, again an increase by making two single crochet and at the end of this row you will have nine stitches So this is it and now we will change uh, to red and we will work the second row of our repeat which will be a cross stitch so just change the color to red and then we will start the row with chain 3 and this chain 3 and on all uh, double crochet rows or uh, rows that are using double crochet stitches chain 3 will count as first double crochet skip the next stitch and make a double crochet into the next one and then make a double crochet into the skip stitch this will be the stitch that uh, it will be work at the beginning of the row and now uh, we will start to work the main stitch of this row skip one stitch then one double crochet into the next two stitches and then go back to the skipped stitch and make a double crochet and because we have only three stitches left we will work the uh, stitches at the end of the row which will be uh, skip one similar with the, bi uh, the one made at the beginning so we will do a cross stitch only with two double crochet so skip one one double crochet next and then go back and make one double crochet into the skip stitch and we will finish the row with one double crochet into the last stitch so on this uh, shawl we will increase only in single crochet rows and double crochet rows the other rows that we are working we just work the stitches that we have so now we have to change with gray or with the third color that you will want to use and we will repeat the red row so it will be again the same pattern as the previous row so we will start with chain 3 and 
it we will do the same stitches as on the previous row skip the first stitch make one double crochet into the next and then make one double crochet into the skipped stitch and now the three double crochet cross stitch skip the next stitch one double crochet into the next two and go back and make one double crochet into the skip stitch and finish the row with skip one one double crochet go back into the skip stitch and make one double crochet and finish the row with a double crochet into the third stitch of the starting chain or the turning chain and now we will change the black again so these are the first uh, three rows of our pattern and now we will have to um, change to black. I already cut the yarn but because we are changing the colors at every two rows basically uh, every time will be on the same side two rows below the needed yarn, the needed color yarn so you don't have to cut the yarn but you can uh, carry on on the side now chain three and in the first stitch we will have to increase with three stitches so on this row on this side we will have to increase with four stitches so I will increase with three now by making three double crochet in the same stitch which is the first stitch the one with chain three and then to increase with four stitches on this row I will do two single or uh, two double crochet into the next stitch and then we will continue with one double crochet into each stitch to the end until the end of the row this is the last stitch that has to be worked in the third chain and at the end of this row we will change to red so this is the side in which we will keep increasing on the single crochet and double crochet rows only on the single crochet we will increase rows we will increase with uh, th uh, two stitches and on double crochet rows we will increase with th uh, four stitches the next row will be a shell stitch row of five double crochet shell stitch so we will start the row with chain one and then turn <coughs> sorry and make one single crochet into the first stitch then skip the next two stitches and make five double crochet into the next one so into the third stitch from the first single crochet all five double crochet are made in the same stitch and now we will skip the next two and make one single crochet into the next stitch and again skip two stitches and five double crochet into the next one
and we will finish the row with one single crochet into the last stitch which has to be the third chain of the turning chain okay so this was the row 5 and now we will change the gray again I cut the yarn but uh, you simply can carry on on sides and then when working the border we just work the, uh, you can just work the stitches over and in this way to hide those strands that can um, that will be on the side and I think it's a better idea than to uh, wave in all the ends so now we will work a different stitch pattern and we will start with chain 3 <coughs> and then we will work two double crochet together into the next two stitches so this were the first two double crochet the first one and we will repeat the second one and now yarn over and pull through all stitches all loops chain two and in the next stitch the exactly next stitch one single crochet now chain two and the next five stitches in the next five stitches we will work five double crochet together So now the third and we have two more and at the end we will close all these stitches, yarn over and pull it through all the loops. Chain two, go into the next stitch and make one single crochet, chain two and finish the row with three double crochet together into the last three stitches okay so this was the sixth row and now we will repeat from the single crochet row the first one up to this gray row we will repeat one more time together and basically the six rows will be the ones that you will have to repeat until you will get to the desired measurement of your shawl this is how I told you that you can carry on the yarn on the side basically now I'm need, I will need black so I'm just taking the yarn and changing the gray and this will be a single crochet row and we will have to increase at the end of the row only because we are only increasing on one side so we will work one single crochet into each stitch except the last one and in the last stitch we will do three single crochet because on this row we have to increase with two stitches don't get too confused about this uh, row you will have to work one single crochet into each group of uh, double crochet together also on the chain stitches, the two chain stitches that are uh, separating the uh, group stitches with a single crochet and also into the single crochet and the last stitch will be the group of uh, uh, two single crochet together so not the three uh, turning chain, the third stitch but the stitch that uh, join the uh, two single crochet to get two double crochet together so in that one we have to do uh, to make three single crochet okay so we finished this uh, row now we will uh, go with red and working the cross stitches uh, row basically we will repeat the same row only that this time we will have more cross stitches because we already increased with some um, with some stitches so instead of three 
I think we will have five on this row because we had six rows increasing with six stitches so basically this is a multiple of three stitches row so we will have on this row six uh, five five motifs so now we will start with chain three then skip the next stitch one double crochet into the next one I will go a little bit faster this time I had to slow down the first part of the video because I <laughs> was uh, I realized that I'm working too fast and maybe it's not a good idea to work in this way okay so I already did a cross stitch now skip one two double crochet into the next two stitches and then go back into the skip stitch and make one double crochet we will repeat one more time so skip one two double crochet and go back and make one double crochet into the skip stitch and I will finish the row with skip one one double crochet go back into the skip stitch and make one double crochet and we will finish with one double crochet into the last stitch and now we will change the gray I cut this yarn this time but I didn't have to cut it okay now I will change the gray and we will repeat the same pattern so we will work this row in the same way as the previous one so start with chain 3 now skip the next stitch one double crochet next this will be even easier because we can follow the stitches uh, from the previous row and will guide us So we will work this row in the same way as the previous one. Okay, the last three stitches. And the last double crochet into the third stitch of the turning chain. And now we will have to change the black. And the next row will be in double crochet. And we will have to increase, so chain three and then it's the same as the uh, first double crochet row so now three double crochet into the first stitch next two double crochet into the next stitch and then continue with one double crochet into each stitch until the end of the row and the last double crochet and now we will change the red and we will work the shell stitch row so we will start with one single crochet into the first stitch and skip the next two stitches and five double crochet into the next skip the next two stitches one single crochet skip the next two and again a shell stitch <coughs> 
and we will repeat to the end of the row and we will finish I think we will have uh, one more shell stitch to go those are looking a bit closer and it's a black yarn and I'm sure that you're not getting the stitches but yeah these were the colors that I used okay so this will be the last shell and then we will finish the row with skip two and one single crochet into the last stitch and now we will change the gray chain three work the two first uh, stitches two double crochet together then chain two one double crochet in the next stitch chain two <coughs> five double crochet together chain two one double one single crochet next stitch chain two five double crochet together chain two one single crochet and finish the row with chain two and uh, last three stitches three double crochet together and this was again the sixth row from our pattern repeat so now we will change the black and we will repeat the single crochet row with working one single crochet into each stitch and into the last one we will work three single crochet to increase on this row with two stitches and we will have to repeat these six rows until we will get to the desired length I worked in total 114 stitches uh, rows well this was the actual six rows repeat but I finished the length with one row in single crochet the same as this one that's, uh, that I'm working now so in total 115 rows but of, of course depending on the yarn weight and um, your tension you can work different number of rows in especially if you want a different size of your of your shawl mine had like um, on diagonal 170 stitches but with the border in total and on the width like one or uh, like 90 centimeters so now I will just repeat until I will finish the trunk of the um, of the um, shawl and then we will need to work the border together and to see how we can finish this uh, this shawl okay so this is the shawl after working all the rows with uh, the asymmetrical shape and you can see that has a triangle shape with one uh, 90 degrees corner so the first part of the border we will work only these two sides that are the width and the length uh, with the 90 degrees corner and then the last two rows we will work them all around to complete the border of the shawl so now we will act like it's a triangle um, shape uh, shawl so we will increase in this end here because we need to keep the corner straight so I'm doing two more double crochet into the first stitch then I will continue with one double crochet up to the last stitch and this last stitch will be the center point of our triangle in which we will do an increase to keep the corner nice and round so let's just start and double crochet until the last stitch Yeah. 
in case you want to know the stage count or well, how many stitches do you have on each uh, side you can check the um, blog post which I had a written pattern and I will let a link into the description below so I got to the center point and this I will do the increase with two double crochet chain two and another two double crochet into the same stitch and this will be our center point of the first part of the border and I think the last part also that is worked around we will do the same and then I will continue with one double crochet so this is the corner here the center point and now we have to work into the perpendicular with the rows so the, the thing is <coughs> that actually on a length of double crochet you need to work two double crochet so this is the um, main thing if you, even if you're working a chart or something like this you will see that on the length of a double crochet you basically can make two double crochet if you're working perpendicular on that stitch but of course that this is depending on your tension and how do you feel when working if the stitches are too close or too wide then you'll need maybe to adjust that the thing is is that I worked two double crochet if I had I worked the stitches perpendicular with a double crochet row and if I had a single crochet row I did only one double crochet and when I'm working the two double crochet on a, uh, and also maybe if you need at some point to just skip one stitch so not to make uh, two double crochet on a side row double crochet maybe you want just to make one at some point so please adjust the number of stitches according with your tension and when you got to the last row which will be the uh, basically the chain here that we did again you will have to do three double crochet and then turn with a three uh, stitches turning chain and now we will repeat this row again with two double crochet into the first stitch working one double crochet up to the center point increase in the chain to space of the center point and then continue with one single crochet uh, one double crochet into each stitch except the last one so basically this row the exact same row we will uh, repeat it until we will have five rows in total in black and I did another row using color red and then we will change the pattern of the border so um, after these six rows five in black and one in red we will basically change I mean again to change the pattern so these are the rows that I worked with um, simple double crochet stitches and now I will chain three and increase in the same way at the beginning of the row with those two stitches that I'm making in the first stitch and then along the uh, row we will work two double crochet cross stitches of course this is not mandatory it's just how I feel it to just change the pattern from double crochet but it's looking nice so just skip the next stitch and go into the next one and make one double crochet then go back and make one double crochet into the skip stitch normally you should have the same number of rows as I did so your uh, the same number of stitches as I did but in case if you did less rounds re less rows or maybe you adjusted your tension on the when working perpendicular with the rows if you're not because this row will need um, multiple of two plus one which is the first stitch before the center point if you don't have this number of stitches and maybe before the center point you have only one stitch so you're not able to make the cross stitch this is not an issue just work that stitch which is before uh, like a single double crochet and of course making the mirror after the center points wor work again one double crochet after it so to have a symmetry in the stitches on the um, on the pot on the pattern so now i will continue with the cross stitch double crochet cross stitch up to the center point so you see here that i had basically before the center point i, I had uh, 
two stitches so I uh, had a cross stitch before but in case you don't have it you ju just can make the double crochet stitch before this so now I'm working the center point with two double crochet chain two and another two double crochet into the same chain two space and then I will repeat the same uh, pattern to skip one go back and make the double crochet into the skip stitch and we will repeat the pattern up to the end of the row and in the last stitch remember to increase again by making three double crochet into the same stitch into the same last stitch and we will repeat this row for another four rows so in total to having cross stitch five rows and after completing these five rows we will work the final border which will be all around the shawl including the diagonal of the triangle so we will start in the same point where we are with the um, with the yarn and just change it to color gray the first side so this um, um, let me so what we work until now it will be the same pattern only that uh, so the same it will be the same as we did for example the black rows but then after finishing the round the row we will just turn on the, the diagonal and work those stitches as well just to hide <laughs> those uh, I don't know if you had any uh, yarn carry on to get uh, on the side it's better to make it neat and looking nicer so this first row will be just in uh, double crochet so I will work two double crochet into the first stitch the same as until now then I will work one double crochet into each stitch until the center point in the center point we will increase again, again uh, the same as we did until now So in the chain two space with two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then we will add all around a shell stitch row. Okay, but first we just finished the two sides that we are used to them <laughs> because we work them already for a few rounds. Now in the last corner I will do three double crochet and then we will have to turn on the diagonal and because we are working perpendicular with the rows the trunk main trunk uh, of the shawl we are just working the same as we did on the length of the shawl with those two double crochet if uh, we are working perpendicular with um, double crochet row and one uh, double crochet if it's a single crochet row and the same as I told you on the uh, previous uh, I told you pre uh, previous you can just add, adjust the number of stitches that you were working until you feel that has the proper distance between them as a normal uh, tension yeah that isn't the stitches are not too wide or not too close of each other so this is uh, really depending on the on uh, on your tension and of course the tension that you work the rows the previous rows because in case you have um, you're working tight then the high of the stitch will be smaller and maybe you won't be able to do two double crochet in this case you can do two double crochet if it's uh, in the first side row and then when we have a next side row to make just one and alternate this maybe to look uh, even better this way 
so anywho um, you will need to do uh, this until the end of the row I will let these ends aside and just I will just hide them uh, waved in um, at the end try to work the stitches uh, not under the chain if you have a starting chain for example but to try to insert the hook through the stitch because then the stitches will look neater and it will look nicer so now we'll continue to work this row up to the end and then we will work just one single row beside uh, this one and as I said it will be into in a shell stitch row or round because we are working this around okay so we will have to work up to here <laughs> it's a pretty long show so I'm trying to just uh, make it fit into my camera screen anywho you will have to work all this length the diagonal length with double crochet stitches and then we will need to work the last row of um, of our border okay so I finished this first row I'm just joining the uh, with the third stitch of the first um, starting chain that we did at the beginning of the row the chain three okay I think I managed to go through it and I will do a slip stitch and now we will start to work a shell stitch row it will be the same uh, five double crochet shell stitch that we did it uh, on uh, on the trunk of the shawl <coughs> and we will start the row single crochet you can start with a shell stitch as well then I will skip two stitches and work five single five double crochet I'm not increasing on this round and to be sincere I didn't count the stitches to see if I will have the right amount of stitches to just um, um, so the pattern to work because I didn't care too much about it in case you don't have a multiple of six I think it requires this pattern you can just uh, adjust it on the way and even make a double crochet or a single crochet where you have uh, um, stitches in plus so it's, it's not uh, I don't think it's uh, that important but if you think that it's important and you want to have the exact number of stitches that you need to follow this pattern then maybe you can and you don't have it maybe you can uh, use another pattern that will will work with uh, the number of, the st of stitches that you have or maybe you can adjust the number of stitches to have the right amount of stitches needed for this pattern but I think it worked uh, pretty neat so this is uh, the first corner and what I did in this corner uh, it, it wasn't a center point but uh, what I did instead of uh, so here was the single crochet and then I just skipped two stitches and worked the uh, five double crochet so I didn't make a made any increase on this round and basically after completing this round the shawl is done all you need to do is to wave in all the ends and uh, block it so this is how my corner is looking and I don't think it's uh, uh, looking bad and this is the uh, side of the 
shawl and now in the center point because I want to show you also this one so I did the single crochet after the last shell stitch into the chain 2 this is where I landed with my stitch so then I'm making exactly in the same chain 2 space I'm doing the 5 double crochet and then into the first stitch I will go with the single crochet and in this way I'm having a nice shawl stitch in the center point and it will look nice with the rest of the pattern and now continue to work the same pattern to the end of the row of the round basically because this is in round and I was uh, starting to tell you that this will be the last round of the border and basically this was uh, what I wanted to show you with this uh, poppy flowers shawl here is the end I will just add a few stitches here I will just uh, try to make the single crochet and then I will join with the first single crochet that I made at the beginning of the row. So thanks for so much for watching this and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will wait you next time with another video tutorial. Bye bye!